Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about reptiles. This is a quite large group of animals and today we will learn how to recognize them and what does it mean that something is a reptile. Look at those pictures. Those are all reptiles. In this group we can find turtles and tortoises. Turtles can swim and they live mostly in water. Tortoises can't swim and they live mostly on land. Crocodiles are green in color and have long pointed snout. Alligators are grey in color and have more round snout. Snakes have various colors and sizes. Some of them are venomous. It means they can inject a poison by biting someone. But some of them aren't dangerous. Most of them are predators. It means they hunt and eat other animals. Lizards. There is a lot of them and they differ from each other. Let me introduce some of them to you. Komodo dragon, up to three meters long, very fast and very strong, is able to eat an adult buffalo. Camaleon, small lizard that hunt for flies and other insects with his long tongue and it's able to change colors in order to hide. We call it a camouflage. Iguana, a lizard that in contrary to most of reptiles is herbivorous. It means that it eats plants and fruits. On this picture, you can see an iguana eating a mango. Gecko, a lizard that is so small that you could easily hold it on your open hand. It is only a few centimeters long. It eats mostly insects like crickets or uh, grasshoppers, for example. But those animals are so different from each other. What they have in common? What makes them reptiles? First of all, skin. We can very easily spot the scales on snakes and lizards and scutes on crocodiles, turtles and, what interesting, on, on foods of birds. Their skin is dry, very often patterned. Reptiles are oviparous. It means that they lay eggs in order to have babies. Reptiles lay their eggs on land even if they live in water. Like a sea turtle, for example, they dig a nest in the sand on a beach lay their eggs there and then go back to the sea. They hatchlings look just like adults do, but they are much, much smaller. Reptiles are cold-blooded. It doesn't mean that they, it doesn't mean that their blood is cold. It means that the temperature of their body changes together with the temperature of their surrounding. That is why we can find them warming up on a stone, having a sun bath, or cooling down in the water. This is the way they can regulate the temperature of their body. This is also a reason why there is no reptiles in Antarctica. There is no option to warm up there.
Reptiles breathe through the lungs. It means even if they live in water like crocodiles or turtles, they need to take a breath out of the water. Reptiles are vertebrate, vertebrates. It means that they have a backbone that helps their body to stay straight and move. I wonder if you can recognize which skeleton belongs to which reptile. Take a look. I hope you enjoy it, learning about reptiles. I want to ask you to choose your favorite reptile, draw it and write down its name. This work you can share with us during Friday's show and tell. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile.